Welcome to our first video podcast situation called Drag Race for Sisters. Yay! <laughs> I As think I just can... said that. So it's like four people, four sisters, right? Okay. Clearly, Being she's young. the youngest. Um, Clearly, and she doesn't understand this is a show about puns. So it's going to be puns on puns, nothing but double entendres all over the place. Amen. <laughs> so basically, we are four sisters, yay. And um, we are very different. We lead very different lives. But the one thing that, that we have in common is that all four of us love drag race. Yes, hunty. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Love a show. Okay. Okay, so what we decided to do, even though we're a little late, we decided that weekly we would like to recap the RuPaul Drag Race shows and discuss them at length for you beautiful audiences. So that is our plan. But before we get started, I figured that we can go ahead and introduce ourselves so you know who we are. And uh, I guess we should start with the person that was born first. So, <laughs> <laughs> And that would be me. Call me Ada. One Adam. thing about me, I'm, well, my sisters think they're the nerds, but I'm the true nerd out of everybody else because I love anime, computer games, and whatnot. So, just a little I'm bit. I'm different from other girls. <laughs> I'm not different. I'm different from you lots. <laughs> so, <laughs> anywho. And the next one. Okay. Oh. My name is the Jacob, Jacob of the group. I'm the second born, but the most significant. I snatch the significance from people. My name is Dr. Ooch. I feel I am a nerd. Obviously, hence the name. <laughs> but yes, I love drag race. I love a lot of variety of things. And I'm here to sip the tea with everybody. I know that Ella in the bottom is ready with her tea, but I'm here too. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a teacup right now because I'm in a hotel room, unfortunately. But hi, my name is Ketchy, and I'm the third one. And I feel like I'm the one that sticks out like a sore thumb because um, I'm the one that does all the weird things. Like I do photography, I'm a stand-up comic, I do random dance videos online. So she that's the most fun I, I, I feel like I'm the eccentric one, the creative one. So that is catchy. But last but not least, what are you uh, laughing at? I'm not laughing. It's just so funny. All of us are like, I'm unique. I'm special. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's not special now. <laughs> well, anyways, my name is Ella. Um, I know. I just. I like things all fabulousness. So I guess that's my hobby. If it's fabulous, I'm there. So this podcast is fabulous. So hence, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> so that is us. <laughs> and now we're going to dive into the episode. As you can see, we've missed the first five episodes, unfortunately. And we're not going to recap them. But we came just in time for one of the most pivotal episodes every single RuPaul Drag Race season, and that is a Snatch Game. Yes! yes! Snatch, snatch, so, snatch. Snatch. But what we've decided to do is we're going to briefly recap the episode, starting with going into the workroom to the main challenge, and then we're going to judge the runways, and then we're just going to give our thoughts at the end of the episode about mm -hmm. what's life and all that stuff and if there's anything else we want to add we will do it as we go along mm -hmm. but um first off like we enter into the workroom and all the queens are kind of like oh i forgot who got eliminated already oh my Nikki god doll. how could you forget that beautiful name that hurts oh. my soul oh, Nikki you, you forgot who got eliminated like before or now Oh, it, before, it, was, it was like it was everything that everyone was salivating over. It's Nikki really? Doll. That beauty. No, I have to admit, out of all the eliminated queens thus far, her runway look was everything for me. It's like that metal stone look, of arc. That metal look. I just waited for her to come down the runway always. Oh. Oh. And usually, I don't like. You know how people say I gasp. Like it was a genuine like. 
Like, this is, what is this? This is, this is everything. And she buffed it. It was just, how can you go home wearing that outfit? How? Because it was a cape challenge and her cape was not giving cape realness. All right. No, 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 no. But who was? She had two capes. She's a go. She's a go. No, she had two capes. The problem was she took off that bigger one too soon. Too soon. I agree. Justina is just, oh, uh, she I had, agree. She, she took it too it, soon. I think she should have had more of a reveal, like maybe uh-huh. a twirl or something to show uh-huh. that it is. But that's not who she is. Yeah, but, but that's what that's what was uh, undoing. That's what it needed. Okay, I'm sorry. Like that cape runway to me, I, just to be honest, it disappointed me. I felt like people could have done more of the capes. I'm like, yes. Yes. Oh, yes, okay, yes. But that's even more of the point. I don't find. I found out maybe two people had real capes. So for her to go mm-hmm. home, she had such a fabulous outfit, and I <sighs> think if for her to go home on that when her outfit was just fantastic, and everybody else didn't really do the, the cape challenge the way it was supposed to. Exactly. I think it was a yeah, but she bombed okay. the challenge also. So anyway, hey, let's, go back there. let's go back there. Let's go back there. Let's go back there. I actually do not <laughs> think she bombed that challenge. I enjoyed Nikki as a as the baby. I enjoyed her, and I think she used the French well. To me, yeah, I don't think she I, bombed I, it. She finally did. Everyone was like, "Be French, do this," and, blah, and she did and well. She, I didn't. I didn't have a bad taste in my mouth after watching no. her at all. But prob- no, but hmm. this is the thing we're all forgetting. It is about the editing. Think about it. When you saw the takes and you saw the final product, it was all about the editing. They made yeah, them. Jaden needed a bunch of takes too. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, uh, it's all about the editing. Yeah. How about the way it edits your voice? Your, <laughs> your British accent is like mighty strong right now. <laughs> ah, fudge it. Forget it. Sorry. I can't help Sorry. it. Sorry, I just have to point Let out that it go. You may be born British, but you don't have the voice, so get over it. Anyway, and that's okay, moving on. Right. Anyways, let's go. Let's go American. Whatever. Okay. Just so, just so the audience understands, like we all were, well, m- me and I were born in England. We lived in England for a while before moving to the United States, so that's the reason why she still has an English accent. She's the oldest one. I guess she decided to keep it. Anyway, moving only on. Only by a year. It still doesn't make sense. But okay, let's carry on. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. And it reappeared like when you were like, what, 25? But wait, <laughs> let's move on with that. It life. didn't reappear. It's never left. It never left oh. it. Okay. It Anywho, moving on. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all are bitches. Okay. But no, back to going to the workroom. Heidi in the closet gets to clear off the lipstick message. Yeah. And then here goes Britta. Ugh. <laughs> you know, Britta's look, look. talking about, but I'm from New York City and I'm a New York City queen. <laughs> what did you guys think about that situation? But that's the thing, Britta, you're not the first New York City queen on RuPaul's Thank Drag Race. You. And you're not the only one on RuPaul Drag Race. And how do you right dub yourself as the queen of New York City? Because what I've seen has been nonsense. Thank okay. you. It's, it's like we've had multiple winners from New York. And none of them, let's be totally honest, none of them had the attitude of Britta. The, especially the winners. Especially. They just didn't give two fucks. They did what they did and moved on. If they didn't do too well, they didn't blame somebody else. They just yeah. moved around. It's like, I messed up. Okay, let's move on to the next move. That was Erica, it. It was, it was definitely very tiring to hear her. It's like, okay, we get it. You do well in New York, but here's the thing. You're in a new setting, so you're going to have to adjust, you know? And so clearly she's not having a great time adjusting right now. Um, but then we move on to them going to the workroom once again for uh, to find out what challenges they're gonna have. And let me tell you, RuPaul, that suit that he came in in, baby, baby, and you know the girl likes to do a good suit. The girl yeah, likes to do a good yeah, suit. Um, yes, I feel like I all would... of us. Um, it, it, is it safe to say that all of us appreciate a well tailored yes suit? Emerald City come through. That's what yes. happened there. Yeah, that it's was a smart cool. suit, smart fit, smart fit. Yes, Thought and then it was fit. just pretty. That material was just pretty. But That's nevertheless, perfect. he announced that they're going to be doing the Snatch Game. Yes. <laughs> it's just me, I feel like it's too early to do the Snatch Game. I don't think the queens have earned the spot yet. Wow. Okay. Oh, I think that's, isn't it the time period when they do the Snatch? I mean, oh, maybe, is it 10 or 8? 
No, it's Uche no, it is usually people. well, because yeah, well, no, Uche's right. Yeah, Uche's right. It is a little it's, early. It's I, think it's, I think it's think. nine. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. It, no, it's it's probably like nine because remember, like five and then four. Yeah, because it's a little what? early. I will say it brings up a good point because, like, when it comes to Snatch Game, I like to be able to get to see all the characters. Mm -hmm. And if there's too uh -huh. many, you forget some. Like, I forgot definitely a lot of them. But um, oh, wow. nevertheless, um, and so rightfully so. Snatch game. And so <laughs> Thank that's you. Practice, huh? And rightfully so. To be What's forgotten. Right? Yeah, so, ha! okay, you, that's fair, that's fair. But they're prepping for Snatch Game and everything, and so mm -hmm. they bring a guest to the workroom, and it's who? Vangie. I gotta Wait, say, I huh? Go ahead, go ahead. Her teeth are distracting. They're so white. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was just me, but this episode was the episode of teeth, all right? You've got the Heidi teeth, oh my god, damn. Then you see veneers, 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 veneers for days. And I was like, yeah. what is going on this episode? It's teeth. Yes. Okay, think about it. Vanjie is, has some money now. Of course she's going to fix her bloody teeth. Come on now. It's a crazy Vanjie. It was like Gigi good. I mean, granted, she's got like a, a mouth. She's got it a big like, mouth. Her mouth was like, mm. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Leave my fashion queen alone. Leave her alone. <laughs> but still, all right. Let's um, move it on. Let's move it on. You're so mean. But no. But this is the thing. I did not understand. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Vanji. I love my Vanji. Uh -huh. But why didn't we pick somebody who did really well in the snatch game? Exactly. No, but I feel like that's something that's switching it up. Like as in, I liked it, and I liked that finally Vanji her silhouette like she wasn't a box like so just everything seen about Vanji, i was quite happy i'm not opposed to this <laughs> i'm not saying opposed. i'm not opposed to Vanji being I mean, there i think it's there could have been a better episode for Vanji because she was not the snatch game queen thank so you like okay so then okay that's fine that's fine i'm overruled <laughs> i will i would say like i i agree with I feel like there's a better place they could have put her. They really is. But I feel like they probably had no room. And everybody knows that Vanjie's one of the most favorited contestants in RuPaul Drag Race history. So people want to see her. And this is the only place they probably had room for her. So, okay. I mean, I was happy to see her. She made it Which, fun in the workroom. She sure did. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not minding. But, but you know, uh, it, it, I wanted to bring up something. I just remembered. Remember when they brought back Jinx Monsoon? one season to walk I through don't. the workroom, to, uh, especially on the Snatch Game. You do. You just don't acknowledge that queen. Oh, I do. I love Jinx, but I don't remember. Ooh. Like, when, if Ooh. you bring back Jinx, I mean, like, though I loved her as a queen, no shade, but it's not as exciting as having Banshee back. It isn't. Like, it just okay. isn't. But it's okay. more practical, because I think, like, Jinx can actually... But is, is RuPaul yeah. Drag Race supposed to be practical? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Is it? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Fair <laughs> enough. Broad <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's just, like, it's just, Snatch it's Games so over the years has been whack. So I'm thinking you want to have a queen that helps the other queens do better in Snatch Games so it's more entertaining, because it's been a flop for the last couple of years. No, we're not talking about we're not talking about the queens from Britain because they needed all the help, all the tutorials, everything, a whole program, an examination. So it's only the UK queens that require that type of reassessment. Not no, not it's not not queens this year. No. Yeah, that's what RuPaul's for. He's the one, because he's the one ultimately judging them, and he's telling them exactly what he wants. He says it every single time. So, I mean, like, if the queens decide not to listen, that's their problem. Which one of them have bad them. advice? Huh? He gave them but bad advice. advice. Okay, well, let's move let's on. Get let's get into talk that. about what kind of advice he was giving each of the queens. Like, yeah. uh, I can't remember who he started with first, but let's start with Heidi in the Closet. Heidi in the closet was saying that she wanted to be Leslie Jones, and I thought that was actually that was a, a good, good choice. Yeah, because like I was just like that she was just a judge on the show, and I know Leslie would live for a Leslie Jones impersonation. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but that's um, great. Leslie, I don't care. That's great. I do not care. Don't why? care. 
Who cares? Who cares about Leslie? Who cares? She, <gasps> who cares she, about she, a lot she, of these people? She just comes sometimes to do some awards. Or what? Who can, in my book? Oh, oh, oh. I don't care for this bitch. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 okay. That's a hot take. I will not allow Leslie slander on this podcast. You hear me? <laughs> then log off. <laughs> I log off and it's easy to get over because I am the host. So okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. So we find out Heidi's going to be Leslie Jones. Uh, RuPaul cool had said, oh, maybe you should be Phaedra. And she was like, nah, I'm doing Leslie. And I was like, yeah, do Leslie. But how, how does someone not know who Phaedra is? She, no, she, she has she a lot of idea doesn't know her. her. No, but, but yeah, I think but she, she doesn't does. know or know her. I think she knows That's who it. she is. I don't think she knows her well enough to impersonate her. Mm-hmm. Well, exactly. you should have found another country bumpkin. Moving on. Okay. But then I think that's the thing. When she she picks a country bunk and it's like, oh, you're not taking a risk. You're just taking something that's too close to home. Ding, ding, ding. But then, you know, but then again, Rue was saying that she should be choosing something that was close to home that was easy for her to volley back and forth. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. I don't think we need to go over all the workroom, like, you know, like Mm -hmm. discussions. But where is there Uh any discussions that, like, popped out in your head that, you know, stuck in your head that you would like to talk about right now? Crystal Method, the producer. Crystal Method. First of all, (laughs) I want to keep on the show. I love hearing that song. But that's That's it. That's the only thing that Crystal Method does for me. But Girl, she was completely producing the whole time. I don't know. I like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was giving them a storyline. But it was produced and it wasn't good production. I shouldn't be able to be like, I clock your production there. Ah! No. That's true. She's trying to do another plot. She pulled a a plastic tiara. Mm-hmm. And she decided she was going to have a moment. And it worked because Rue was like, can I have a hug? And she got her little Rue hug, you know? But, but it yeah, was so right. cheesy. It was so obvious. Of, like, Drag Race has gotten like, a hug from. That's a huge deal to get a hug from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the workroom. A work mission room. accomplished. A mission accomplished. Okay, okay can but, I just know, say one thing, please? What? Yes, Uchi. Yes, Uch, you love the song. But I am tired of Rue trying to make Debarge happen. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Yeah, you're it's right. not happening. It's like the hair is gorgeous, it is cute, and it makes him look adorable and crystal. But I don't give a shit that she looks like that. Okay? It's that's crystal. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, whatever. <laughs> And uh, it's so funny because it's clear that Rue is completely obsessed with Crystal just because she looks like the Bodge. It doesn't That's even like look Bodge. like the Bodge. Stop it. It's, it's just the hair. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. Just like we got it every single time they do the song. Next. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, one thing that I did want to point out about the interactions, my favorite was between Gigi Good and RuPaul because when mm-hmm. he's when she said she was going to do that robot, yeah. RuPaul was like, I don't know. And then Gigi was like, no, this is going to work. Thank <laughs> you. So like, she was so confident. And I really appreciate that. Yes. About her. She was like, yes, I'm doing this. And I'm ready. I'm prepped and good to go. I'm good to go. I'm a professional. I've yes. Figured, I vetted this. I'm ready. Yeah. Working She's like, woman. I understand your concerns, but I don't have that concern. Like, that was, like, the best <laughs> customer service. Like, if I was a customer service agent, like, that, I will end every, like, nasty conversation like that. Like, that's right that was there. just the most, of, it was lovely. It was GG good. That's what it was. GG good. Miss good. Miss good yeah. did good. That's all. Yeah, that Miss good was. did good. Um, also, <laughs> I will say one more thing. I was so concerned about when um, Widow was saying that she was going to be doing um, Tina. Tina, and she brought out that wig. <gasps> Why did you bring that little tired ass wig that wait, covered it all of the too- front half of her head? Explain yes. it to me. Uh, no, no, no. I know what she was going for. Tina has a mullet. But guess what? The mullet was not that tiny. Thank Sheesh. you. Yeah. Who put she two wigs on? Because it was yeah. too small. So she had it a was back too wig small. and a front wig. 
it just uh, uh no it just oh tina we apologize again okay. whatever for this. she, did, she also, didn't deserve that she, she didn't deserve that just like she had ike in her life she didn't deserve that she didn't no. deserve any of those things she didn't oh random question um anyone familiar with poppy okay no. so no and i didn't even care to google her you had to google her i didn't even care to <laughs> well damn Oh, right. Well, damn. All right. <laughs> Minnie the girl. <laughs> so I, was, I was like, actually, so I've actually heard of Poppy. Only oh, really? Because I've heard about them, like, because she, there was some drama between, she worked, she has a partner that she works with, and it was drama between the partner, and it's a long, it's a whole thing, like, it's a scandal situation. But that's the reason why I know about her, because it was on the Philip, the Beck, the Franco show. You watch really? that. Show. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's always why I know about her, but I had never heard a song of her ever in life. But let's go ahead and move on to the Snatch Game. Um, first, they had two special guests. No, wait, 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 wait. Can what? we talk about Jackie Cox getting hit on by... Vanjie? Yeah, yeah okay. okay. The love rejection that I had cringed for her. And it was just like <laughs> happening all over again. I, I felt bad. You saw that too. I, <laughs> She's like, no, I don't want you. You're not my type. Okay. I can have friends. There's a friend. That he has a relationship. That's all. I didn't see anything wrong with that. Really? Come on now. She's I've like, I've seen uh -uh. her being rejected before, so they shouldn't have aired that. But go ahead. I think yeah, that's like, true. Uh, no, it was funny because the way that Banji was like, but then are there any single people? Damn, like I thought it was cute. I thought she played it off pretty cute. But um, <laughs> yeah, Banji played it off, but still, she looked at her like, ew, like you're dirt. You're beneath but me. Banji knows how to play off every single terrible situation. So I know. All right. That's why we love her. She's All right, good. let's go. Next. Okay, but so now when it comes to the Snatch game, they had two special guests. They were both boys that were new girls. Yes. Uh, I, I can't remember their names. I'm so terrible. I should have this written down. I'm going to be better next time. What are their okay. names? Because I don't I remember. Don't remember. <laughs> I don't. I just remember the faces from Mean Girls. All right. That Jonathan Bennett. And then the other one's name is Daniel something. But okay. all you need to know, he's too gay to function and your hair looks sexy pushback. That's all you need to yeah. know, right? That's yeah, fair. That's true. true. That's all you need to that's know. Fair. Iconic movie, by the way. So it was a nice nostalgia moment to have them mm -hmm. like be the um, the guests. But then, um, so let's just go. I think what we should do is just go through each person, and we can say say if they did a good job or if they didn't, and why. How about that? Does okay. that work? Awesome. And then, that's a lot, but okay. Okay. So the first person we're gonna go with is Heidi in the closet as Leslie Jones. Eh. Meh. Uh, okay, I, I don't remember her performance, so. I think the main thing she did, the one line that was funny that she did was when she changed her wig. And oh, then yeah, she was yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the oh, only like, line that was I do funny. like the civil rights movement. I the really civil rights like movement, that was that. funny. <laughs> Besides that, I don't. She didn't. I don't think they even focused on her much at all. No, they didn't. No. They didn't. No. There was too many people on Snatch Game. So, like, I mean, like, I guess she did enough to be safe. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Next person was um, Jackie Cox as Lisa Renna. She gets that a round of applause. That was that perfect. Was cute. The cute, she did like, her homework. She did her homework. And for her to even like log on to QVC and buy that dreadful cardigan, like she hey. she, she committed. <laughs> yeah. She that's committed. Good. She that gave good. that $39.95 and she gave it with her whole soul. <laughs> oh, God. She did. You know what I appreciated about what Jackie did? Because like when it comes to improv, because that's basically what they're doing here in the Snatch Game, is it's improv, you know. And, like, the key to improv is two things, yes, and. That means, like, whatever someone's talking to you, you're saying yes to it, and you're building on it, so you're giving them something back to play with. That's the first mm -hmm. thing. She was yes-anding the fuck out of that character. And volley, on top of volley, that... Volley, volley, Yeah, that volley. <laughs> the, the key word volley. for the whole... Volley. Volley. Yeah, volley. 
Oh, it's about right. it's technically yes ending, but whatever. But and then the next thing she did that I really appreciated is the details. Like she's taught the details, like she was talking about her QBC sweater mm-hmm. or the fact mm-hmm. that she was talking about her husband. She had all these funny details. Harry Hamlet. Harry yeah. Hamlet. Hamlet. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was she like she killed that. Like that was that was a very good job. Um yeah. quite happy. Mm-hmm. And the next one was um Cardi B. Okay. Forgettable. It was okay. It wasn't like, oh my god, this is amazing. She got the mannerisms down and she did uh, she did have the baby. She was breastfeeding for a split second. I totally forgot so, about that. Yeah, I mean when I watched it the second time, oh she had a baby. Yeah, All right. but it, they didn't focus on her like they did with her. They didn't focus, like she said, had the same problem that Heidi did. They didn't focus yeah. on her. Okay, yeah. Jada is always going to be like the middle girl. That's how she is. She's just a filler, but that's a fun. She looks very good as a filler, but. Yeah. That's it. not a filler. Uh, Jada is not a filler. I do. She's yeah, not she's a, filler. a filler to me. She's a filler she's to not me. A filler. She's not a winner. And she's not she's getting not a winner. Winner. She's, she's a winner. third place gal. She's a third place. For- she will never win. Yeah. You're right. I, don't, I, don't. I think she'll get third place in this competition. That would be my personal prediction. Because she, first of all, she's pretty. When it comes to her looks, you can't clock those looks. They are, like, for example, Cardi B. She looks beautiful as Cardi B. But, yeah. you know. I don't think she's beautiful. I think I love I her looks. very beautiful. I think it's the same thing as you guys have seen. <laughs> I think she does great work. I don't know what don't, you're talking what? about. She's not gorgeous. Wow. What is Wait not a minute. pretty about her? Like, point out an ugly portion. Yeah, please yeah, do. Please. Her facial know. features. What are you talking about? I'm, they, anyways. They, oh, my God. <laughs> the worst. Her no, frog, man. Her lips I are do perfect. Not think, her, when I people think say she's gorgeous, I do not see it. Cheekbones. Are you doing this really today? Cheekbones, <laughs> but cheekbones is not all that makes a face. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So the next one was Jan as Bernadette Peters. Beautiful. Beautiful. She made me smile. Every time I heard her voice, she did it perfectly. I mean, it was just lovely. She was just like, bring out the clowns. It just made me smile. I'm sorry. I'm for the theater people. Yeah, that was great. This is great. Okay. Okay. Jan should have done her whatever Kardashian. Like, you had a whole... Hold on. You had an entire career that's how you came up and then you wonder why no one wants to talk to you no no judge wants to talk to you that's your fault you should that is so your fault so your I'll, fault I, I don't feel that, sorry for her i think i feel like the reason why i don't feel sorry for her but i think the reason why she was like hesitant on doing the chris jenner is because she didn't want to be in the dairy very type of situation but they were like you. oh why would you do Chris Jenner that was so obvious that's what you're known for you need to do something different no but, but do you remember like, how Barry, RuPaul was like, like everything RuPaul she Paul. did was Britney Spears that was it's different you do yeah. not she did she's brought a different element every every episode so I thought Chris Jenner was fine the, you yeah. cannot compare yeah. with Derek and Barry because it wasn't always the same it's the same I, way as who does share who does share what's his name um, um, oh. Chad. Yes, Chad Michaels. I feel like it would be on the same level as Chad Michaels. Chad Michaels is an iconic Cher. And so when mm-hmm. he brings out Cher, great. But it's not, but she brings out other experiences that make sense. And I thought Jan has done that to that point. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, I agree with you on that. I'm just saying that's what Jan's thinking probably was. I'm not saying that was the case. That's probably the reason why she didn't do the Chris Jenner. That's just my But she, she remembers that she's a true stand because she acts like she's a teacher's pet. That RuPaul was like, bring on Britney. RuPaul was for that. It's just she didn't bring the Britney right because she was scared. So that's just it. She shouldn't have done it. Moving on, just, I mean, she should have done it. That's she it. did a terrible job, job she... but I think the character wasn't something that was bringing people to the table. And I don't think people realize how good of a job she did because they're not as familiar with the character. I'm good but job, dude. Facts. Because when, when they do look up this woman, then they realize she did a damn good job. I mean, it was like... Yeah, I mean, she did a good job, but like I said before, it's not... Yeah, like, that's, it wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't appropriate, yeah. in my opinion, for the show. That's just my personal okay. opinion. Fair she should have done Chris Jenner and killed it. And then and then she would have gone to talk to the judges like she wanted. Uh, well, actually, no. No, no she wouldn't have because of that runway. No, 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 no
and we had Widow as a Team Taturta mm. and Ike Taturta. Ha! Stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> so the hair. Hair. This is just a hated it. Oh. <laughs> it's my hated it prop. <laughs> okay, um, that's holding what um, is supposed to be Widow's ugly shoe uh, that like, Widow was called out a few weeks ago. Payless is, not, is Payless still in business? Like, what the hell is that? Is that a Payless shoe? What is it? Is it vintage Payless? No. I, I don't think it's a cute shoe. It's, Ross. it's a Ross shoe. It's a Ross shoe. What is that? I think it might be a Ross shoe. <laughs> I know a Ross shoe. My, my, my toddler when I see one. I know it. But no, here's the thing. She was actually prettier because Widow's yeah, yellow I pump was a kitten hill. She had a kitten yes. hill yellow pump, which was unacceptable. But nevertheless, when it comes to it, I just, I don't want to talk about it because I'm kind of angry. Because I feel like this is, this is something that could have been so easy, slam dunk, mm -hmm. and she just got it wrong straight from the hair. Like, it was just, and then the oh, hair, like, she, she wanted to be different by switching characters. And it's like, oh, now I'm Ike Turner. It's like, no, no, you, mm. you okay, no. That's all I got. Anyone yeah. want to add anything else? What no. is the, what is Ella doing? I'm doing a Tina Turner like okay. I guess obviously it didn't it didn't translate, but I thought I was doing no. a silent one. No, but okay, that's it's fine. <laughs> See, you I guess it's it difficult. Like I guess it was really silent. difficult. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. no! Oh my god, I still love that. Anyways, next, next, next. Next is Gigi Good as uh, Maria the Robot. Loved. Loved. Because even when they cut away from her, yeah, she was perfect. It was perfection. And then, no, but you didn't even look at the facial expression she did. Because she will move, like, one of her eyebrows and says, what's up, bitch? That, it was just perfect. I'm sorry. I, I enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed Nothing it. Nothing so yeah. Very much. Huh? <laughs> sorry. I said nothing What's to that? apologize for. It was great. That was that was a flawless. That was a flawless performance. It was a flawless. It was flawless, and she got to call RuPaul a bitch, and she wasn't yes. even give that like silent moment of, "Do you know who I am, bitch?" It was more like, <laughs> yes. "Yes, you call me a bitch." Yeah. It was a you know, the moment. only thing I wish when they asked her who was Siri and Alexa to you, I wish yeah, she, she had a better answer. She didn't than deliver that. that one really well. You you thought that she what? I wish there was a better response. If she what paused, I love the pause, but I was waiting. Nah, okay, she's your sister. Hmm. I was waiting well, for okay. something a little funnier than that. Okay, does that give, tell you like something? Mark. She doesn't care when someone says they're their sister. Oh gosh, quit projecting. Wow, quit wow. projecting. Stop it. I'm just saying. Is is that okay? <laughs> okay. Next person is uh, oh, Aiden. Patricia Quinn. Ooh. Yeah, Aiden. Aiden. The that should have been in there. She should have been Ugh. long gone. We should have had. Do <laughs> you don't even know what who it was? Freaking oh, Aiden. God. He was Aiden. She it was from Rock, um, uh, Rocky um, Horror Picture Show. No, that's my yeah. point. When I talk about the queens have to earn to be on Snatch Games, Aiden did not earn to be on Snatch Game. This yeah. girl, right. she right. has skated through, I don't know, because I feel she's like a quirky queen, but what kind of quirks has she given us but just foolishness and nonsense? She has not <laughs> put any effort into her looks. She has put cheap looks down the runaway. When you had a chance to construct something, you set your ass and slept instead, and then had a paper, a trash bag, whatever bag to go down the runaway? You have not earned the spot to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, period. And even more so to be on Snatch Games. As much, as much as I hate Britta, I can't stand Britta, and I think Britta is being a bully, but the points that she has been making about Aiden has been true. <laughs> go off. Go off, Dr. Go off. <laughs> but it's the truth, because oh, let's be honest, she didn't even realize the woman had a, she said she met her, and she has a British accent. You didn't do it. What the? Are you I doing? Just really wanted to name drop, and can you imagine you having lunch with someone and you're kind of doing them a favor, and then they represent you that way on Drag Race? Like that is so disrespectful. 
Yeah. I'm just saying, it's very disrespectful. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. Like, here's the thing. Just because you have lunch with someone, it does not mean you qualify of, like, performing them on Snatch Game. That that Thank does you. not make any sense at all. Like, she's not. You met her, so you had a whole lunch with this woman. Heard her voice. And you did not even try. Just a little bit of an English accent so you can match who she was. That was so stupid. stupid. Even Chizzer tries. Chizzer tries every day. Look at that. <laughs> 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 God, you should, like, give her, like, a lesson or two. Uh, my god my sister has become an essex girl that speaks bbc english you should let her know we grew up in essex stop it we've been here long enough okay the essex girl has gone away <laughs> Okay, that's fine. That's, all right, let's go. Let's go ahead. We're, we're, like, we're moving on. Moving Pretty on. much. I know, right? Horrible. It's horrible. We all agree. Um, next, we have El Debaj as Poppy. This is okay. Mulan. The, yeah, that we're just going to move on. I'm just going to move I'm on. This one thing. Um, I just, it's, I'm just disappointed because, like, uh, like, if you, you know that most people don't know who Poppy is. You're introducing that to the world and you don't do a good job of it. It just, you, mm. you need to be mindful of the characters you pick and you need to be very strategic in the way you perform them. And mm -hmm. clearly, um, she thought that that robotic voice and being like the creepy, quiet, like blonde girl would work, like, but it didn't like, translate. It's it didn't like, translate. Like, it didn't. She was like, like, they tell me what I'm supposed to do. And that's, that's like it. more of a Britney Spears like kind of situation. Yeah, for me, mm -hmm. yeah. that's yeah, what I, I think. Yeah. And then last but not least, though, we have um, we uh, the one that should not be named. Um, uh -huh. At least, no, 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 no. Did we go over um, what's her face, Jennifer Holiday? Um, oh, 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 oh Britta, see how the devil that was. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's so shall be forgotten. <laughs> so, that just know. shows you that 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 there's your answer <laughs> right there. Acknowledge we're moving on. Okay, let's move on. Because like, <laughs> you know what? I don't like the like like was funny. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Hush. Look at that guy. Didn't even tell me. <laughs> Stop lying, bitch. <laughs> Thanks. You're gonna wake the baby. Hush. <laughs> but no. yeah. But yeah. Whenever I see um, Britta do anything, I just see teeth. It's so. <laughs> <gasps> that was dumb. I thought the no. Lucian was funny. Yeah, whatever. This is a red the whole time. Like that. Anyway. Yeah. But last but not least, we had, um, we had the one that cannot be named. Um, and she did... Uh, uh, what should we call it? Drew, it wasn't Julie Andrews. It was... Um... Is it Audrey oh. Hepburn's sister is Catherine? Yeah, Audrey Hepburn. 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 Yeah. Hepburn. Yeah. yeah, she did a good job. Definitely. She did a good job, but we're moving on. We're not going to dwell on that. Anyway, I just want to say something. It's just a shame what she's done because actually, I think she's been great for the show. Besides what she, you know, her outside stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a yeah. shame. Yeah, you actually. I, I, what do you she want to talk did. about her runway when we get a chance? But please. I, we we all going to talk about her runway because I feel like they should completely cut her out. Nothing. I think just nothing. No. Or they should on. Or they should have redone. The end no. of the runway. They should have redone it. And like, no. whatever who was second place gets to, they re record that. She should never grace. No. Sorry. No. That's my I think we have to figure it. I feel like while Presents is doing a good job, I, I personally mm -hmm. like what they're doing of just cutting her out and not featuring her as much as possible. Because, mm -hmm. like, I, this too, I feel like it's too much work just to re record all of that stuff it's all funny. over again. It's over. Just like, okay, we're going to just edit it as best as we possibly can to cut them out. And people could just think, oh, what a shame. She could have been amazing and that's for the, the thing. Show. And you can tell they've really cut it out. Because if you compare the first episode when they didn't get a chance to edit it and yeah. how much she, how much of, she was the na narrator. I bet yeah. you yes. know stuff that they've cut out for her. Yes. And she won a lot of, uh, I know she won a lot of episodes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Without a shadow of a doubt. So there was no, a lot of work. I, I agree. I think the way that they've handled it has been the perfect way. Not the, the best that they could do. It was the best that they could do. 
but it's like it's a shame to see someone just her actions on the outside ruin her body of work sorry yeah hate to break yeah. it to her all right so anywho let's go ahead and move on to the runway well before we move on to the runway they get ready in the workroom and oh we yeah learn a few revelations about some of the queens um <laughs> the first one being that widow the reason why she chose tina turner was because she was in a lot of abusive relationships herself. And so she identified with Tina Turner in that way, um, mm -hmm. which is a shame because she did Tina Turner dirty, but nevertheless, historically. No, we should respect that. We should respect that. Just yeah. full on respect it. But yeah. like her story, like the fact that her story, she went through it though. Like the fact yeah, that she went through it. her mom yes. died, when her mom died to have her uncle kick her out of the house because she's she was gay, gay and then she goes into abusive relationship after abusive relationship mm -hmm. and to be homeless and to overcome and become the fierce queen that she is like mm -hmm. i mean that's a, i feel like that's Ooh. encouraging to people that are going through the same situation too like okay, okay. there is okay. A sunshine at the end of the can tunnel. i just yeah i don't want to be awful but can, no i'm not being awful have you not noticed how flawless her skin is when she does her uh, confessionals is, oh, am I the only one who notices oh, she's that? She's very chocolatey. It's oh, like, she's got perfect skin. Like, it's lovely. The only thing that I will say, she, like, paints her face, like, at least, like, a few shades lighter <laughs> than her actual skin tone. She like, you know, this, like, she using, like, literal, <laughs> yes! she literal white girl foundation on her face. I'm just like, <laughs> what is this? Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, no, no, because uh, just put it this way, she's been through a lot, and the fact that she has done what she has done is amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. most people who have gone through what she has gone through would not have made it that far. Not even no. And it shows like the power of drag. Like drag makes a even if you're in drag, it makes you very happy. Us, obviously, all of us coming together. You know, the power of drag. It's a good thing. It it does great things in this world. So. Kudos, yeah. and um, I was feeling that section, and all righty, all right. But then, and also, Gigi Good talking about how she feels like she's gender fluid. Um, yes, and I was like, oh, that was a nice discussion to have because I don't think they've had it yet on Track Race, have mm -hmm. they? About gender fu no, fluid, not gender fluidity. No, no, no. We talked about Peppermint for a bit. No, that's trans that's which transsexual, but not. I not know, but, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not. Oh, I didn't mean it though, but okay. Well, next, it's okay. But it, I didn't it, mean it, it that it, way. <laughs> no, because honestly, well, I don't, I don't know what you were trying to get to. But really, in actuality, we know that with Gigi, it's like she feels good as a girl. She feels good as a boy. It just depends on the day. So, mm -hmm. it, and it just, it was nice to hear that because some people, there's people out there that feel that it's weird it's like i feel like i want to wear the skirt today or i feel like i want to wear the trousers or the t-shirt i want to look a little bit more butch today it's just you know as children there's time i don't know because i've seen I kids okay, just correct i don't know if i'm going to be wrong again i was just saying that it was addressing gender issues i know the difference so like don't drag me online so that's what i was trying to say on that okay oh please okay, thank you <laughs> I guess the conclusion I came to with that, that when Gigi Good was talking, I was like, I, I, it's something that really shouldn't matter. I, like, everyone should identify yeah. with what they feel like, and it's like, whatever. It's like, yeah, okay, it's, I know. Yeah, but I, I think it's important for her to have that her. process. It's okay. She just wanted to have that process. When she said, that's the first time I said that aloud, it doesn't matter to the greater good. But part of her identity development, I think it is good for her to be able to identify that for herself. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you should yes. discredit or even diminish no, her not having that discussion. No, I'm not saying you just diminish your just Yeah. Okay, and then also I wanted to add that, one thing. But I think it's good that she was able to have that process. Okay. And that was cathartic for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that was I mean, yeah, but I wasn't trying to say that. I wasn't trying to dismiss it. I was just like, I just wish like a lot of people would stop worrying about what other people are doing with their gender. Worry about their own damn selves and let people just be what they want to be. How That's does it affect you though? Okay, next. All right, so now let's go to the runway. Bring it to the runway. Runway, run, run. My favorite part. That's what I was gonna say. My favorite part. First, let's get it to RuPaul. Can I say? The hair. I, I love the her hair. hair so much. <laughs> 
that, that I, I could not stop looking at it. It was so good. Was, thank you. At least she can finally happen. give us some sort of variation. So I know she has been given us name so What was the name? Uh, Fudge. Mm -hmm. I see her before me. Her new hairdresser. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking The Heathers. Isn't it Ravens? Yeah. No, no it's not Ravens. Raven does the makeup. The Heather. Oh. Um, we'll come back to that, you guys. We'll Delta. Come back. Delta. There you go. Delta oh. did that. That was Delta. Oh. So. But that, that hair was good. That's some good that old hair. That was a, I'll, I'll give you that. That one's a good hair. That was a good one. Yeah, and then with but the earrings and a face, yes, that that was I love that a lot. But so what about the dress, guys? That was okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting trash bag realness, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I knew it. I knew it. I wasn't the only one. I was like, from the neck up, I'm there. From down, hmm. it's like it's okay. It's okay. But you know, okay. So let's go ahead and let's get into these looks. Uh, we're gonna go one by one. And the theme category was frozen realness. Yeah. So everyone's <laughs> frozen. Man, I, I hate that theme, but carry on. It, you know <laughs> what? I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not, I, I, now that I think about it, no, I like this theme. Let's go through them. Okay, the first I, Hold part. on. I like the theme, but don't kill me online. I've never watched the movie. Me neither. And I have a child. Me neither. <laughs> Okay, I'm the idiot here. All right. I know. Sorry. I'm just saying. I think I've seen the "Let It Go," "Let It Go." Okay. I just don't know the song. I no, heard I didn't it hear that part. I heard the, the song once, and that's it. Well, when I watched the movie, I heard the song, but I never bothered to learn it. So you know what's sad? My husband actually knew the song and was singing along. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, well, God, I bless I that man. Song. God bless him. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know the song, and he's like, Let it how do you know this? <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. You married correctly. Yeah, you okay. did. You, so, you did. <laughs> you did. You we're did. gonna go. We're gonna go through the runway looks. I'm looking on the Instagram, so I'm not going on the order of how they were on the TV screen. I'm going on what I see on Instagram. And so uh -huh. the first person is Aiden Zane in her monster quick walk. Um. What I actually like this. Why? 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 <laughs> I actually like Why? This. Hold on, hold on. Finally, she's given us a different wig. Okay, finally. Like, as in, like, I have to give her props there. I have to rebuke you there. That is not that, that wig she was wore a that dusty wig. looking wig, though. She wore, wore a different that wig. wig, but it was still dusty. No, no, no. She it's wore that wig for care. the ballers. She wore that wig for the ballers. She ballers. Sure did. She, that wait, was she did her Peggy Bundy look. Yeah. Yes. Oh. She, did. she, she sure did. did. I, I, I wasn't upset with it. I'm, I'm okay with it. She gave mm -hmm. me something. No. With no. the party city no. angry when she walked down the runway. No, I come on now. Okay, no. No. Okay, sorry. Oh. I would like to say this. The reason why I'm like, it was, she looks pretty, which I mean, but the reason why I'm kind of like, eh, with this is because it's something that it wasn't unique enough for me. It's something that I, if I feel like I can put that outfit together, I should not see it coming down the runway. That's the way I Thank see you. It. And so that's the reason why I was like, eh. No, okay, go ahead. When I saw her come down the runway, I was like, that dress was not personal for even season freaking one exactly what makes it okay now exactly it was just it was not right i know she had a little funny um and you know i'm the cartoon person and i'm all cool for those references but it wasn't done well it looked it was cheap was it was party city it props on her neck party exactly. city props on her neck and her head facts right. anyway we're going to britta Filter. Uh, I, liked I liked it. her. I liked it. I, I liked it. it. It was a beautiful no. color. I think yeah. it looked chic. I like the yeah. shoulders. It added some zhuzh to it. Yes. I really liked okay. it. She Can called it iridescent. That was definitely iridescent. We've seen anyway. it before. That What's same. Who? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, what's his name? Um, Fudge. I see him before me. Rule has worn it. Um. This previous uh, no on previous season uh what's her name uh the big girl boxy girl um 
on a Valentina's season. Um, fudge. I can't it's remember not, her it's name. It's not groundbreaking. It's not groundbreaking. That's it's not I'm groundbreaking. Saying. But she looked pretty. She looked she great. Looked no, do not get me wrong, but the, when I saw it, and I was like, I've seen this dress before. Give me something else. But here's okay. the thing. I just like the way, I mean, you know, I'm not a Brita fan, but I like the way this outfit was put together. First of all, that hair was perfect with her skin. No, that hair was great. No, the hair, I agree. But from the neck down, it's like, mm. No, I, think, okay. I agree. I disagree. I, I agree. Yes, it's a similar silhouette that we've seen. Maybe. And but material. I, and material. We've seen the it before. The color palette was great. I thought the color palette was great from their hair, from their makeup, from the dress. Yes. Everything to from top to bottom was well put together. This is when I finally was like, oh, you are yeah, a too. New York queen. And that really yeah, represents. Yeah. All this other time, I'm like, what are you bringing to the table? Are you just holding things? Because I don't see anything fabulous. But this time, I was like, this looks rich. This was designed. It was great material. And you okay. put yourself together from head to toe. I yeah. loved it. Fair I, enough, granted. I, I, I guess we're split down the middle on this one, but... I guess no, whatever. I think I'm the only one who I, doesn't on, like I just, it. I just don't care. I just don't okay, care. so we split down the middle. Okay, well, there yeah. we go. Let's go on to the next person, Crystal Method. Actually, White Walker Elegance Rollness. That's what came to my mind when I saw her come down the I'm well. I'm so sorry. I hate the pajama set. I hate, I hate the pajamas. I hate, I hate the pajamas. I hated it. And I'm just like, what is Wait, this? Who are you talking about again? What? What the Crystal. Oh, Crystal. Crystal method. Okay, okay, okay. But she, this is a moment for her to take it. Your Crystal method. This is <laughs> Frozen Challenge. You should be like, oh, all oh, crystals. Like you, that was, should that should be the reference piece of your drag history. So you gave me pajamas. Avatar. I don't care. Have you guys painted what I'm wearing in silver? I would rock down the runway right now, right? Yeah, this is all it is. Yeah, okay, it. no. Yeah. Okay, yeah. getting back to her name, it's not Chris. It's not Crystal. It's Chris, Crystal Method. Meth Head. That's got what she it. meant. Like now, you got me reminding. Remember, you know, after a long light night of hooking. But I don't. I don't. I don't get the reference. <laughs> okay. okay. Season seven. Wait, I can hear you. What? Kennedy Davenport. No, she wore, no. she wore that ticket. No. Kennedy Davenport. Uh, Adam. Kennedy. Oh, okay. I said okay. Kennedy. I said Season Kennedy. Seven. After yeah. just look up oh, after a long what after a long night. Long of night hooking. of hooking. Just, just Google that, that and you'll get the rest. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> but I liked her face. Anything else you want to say about Crystal Method? I liked it. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I what, about it. You? what about you, Ella? Eh. Okay, moving on. Okay, so the next There's person an is, is Gigi Good. Uh, okay. okay, talk about the similar silhouette. Isn't that the same silhouette that she used when she made Thank her own you. dress? Thank you. She Good used one. to say she likes to use the big, she likes the short, but like full mm -hmm. skirt. Yes. And then, yes. It's easy, I mean, it's it's you, easy to, hold on. It's easy to sew a circle um, skirt. That's very easy. That's very 101. <laughs> but I mean, I will say, should you be faulting for that? It's not about with her. She can give us very tailored, lovely, luxe, you know, numbers. But I think it was just more kitschy with the lolly, I mean, not the little ice cream thingy, the little nose. It's just like the little details that were. I feel like she didn't really need to slay this runway for me. No, no, no. I think it was a good runway. I don't think she slayed it, which yeah. was part of the reason why, and we'll talk about her later, why I think the other person should have won. I think okay. that she definitely had the best snatch games, but and but I think the runway was just like, meh. It was okay. It was good. It runway was good. It was is 20%, ma'am. Uh, isn't that runway's 20%, right? Who said runway is 20%? Officially. I don't think officially. I think we just made that up in our heads. That's what I, I yeah. feel like That's it's 20, hold on. It's 20% because if homegirl French can go home on that outfit, it's a low percentage, okay? Uh, Fair enough. Have have a point. Anyway, 
moving on. <laughs> I, li- I, did, I like that she, I, I did like the whole look together. I thought it was a really nice yeah. look, though. I, I thought it was cute. I, it, it, was just, it wasn't, look, amazing, it wasn't the best look, look though. It wasn't no, the best no, look. No, we no, can no. agree. It wasn't the best look. We can all agree on that. Yeah, okay. Next person is Heidi in the closet. Okay, is it me? Why did I feel that it needed to be short? Don't get me wrong, I liked it, but I felt it needed to be shorter. You know why I feel like, I feel like you, I can see what you're saying. It's because she had those leg warmers. And usually when you have those leg warmers, you would uh, like to like, have a like, cute little short little skirt yes, little moment to show the leg and be a little bit more playful. I do yes. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's like, mm. don't get me wrong. It was her makeup has improved a little. A little? A little. She needs, just like, she needs to get with Jada. Her and Jada yeah. and Widow need to have a... F- friendship mm-hmm. and help her out with her face but um a little bit more but don't get me wrong i love me some heidi yeah i just thought it needed to be shorter that's it everything else was lovely to me she needs to right. the way she does her eyelashes they bother me because it makes her 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 eyes look droopy and it yeah it just bothers my spirit you know <laughs> but uh, okay regardless like it's a i mean like it's kind of like there it's a it's an outfit it, it's frozen, but it's like, I'm not impressed, you know? It's sure. serviceable. The funny thing is, I just think it's random. It's not a big thing. I forgot a muff exists. Like, I forgot that was ever a thing. Like, it was like, remember, like when I was a little kid, like, whoa, a muff. But, like, I was just like, oh, yeah, then, yeah. I re- you know? Yeah, you're right. That no, was so kids. interesting. Yeah, it was yeah. just like, I'm when we were kids we had muffs when we were kids yeah, but when we moved did. to the united states there's no muffs to be found absolutely yeah. not yeah. yeah there was a lot of outfits that mom gave us that should never be found again so. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair but i liked a good muff muffs are fun, the fun. yeah 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 cool. she, she did good with that one yeah all right so next person is jackie cox okay I, I, I think it. Jackie's Cox was the best on the on the runway. I liked it. Okay. All right. I did. No, the only problem I had. Who was better? Was this, Who was better? This, but, no, no. I no. She was. I thought she was the best. No, but the problem I thought was the skirt looked a little cheap. Just a little. Just a little cheap. Okay. But the, the top up. Oh my god. Especially when she put her hands. On her waist, looking like a freaking the visual, uh, was, the visual, yes, the visual that she was created. Yeah, yes, it was perfect. I, it's just, I personally feel this outfit, like they took a lot of time on the very top, mm-hmm. and they rushed the bottom because they, if they had gotten that bottom right, Ooh. she would have won. Because the thing is, mm-hmm. on that bottom, mm-hmm. to, it doesn't match the top. The shoulders don't match. Yeah, the that's you know that's, what I'm saying. That, like it. Huh? Okay. Like, like it needed to be mermaid out a lot more, and she probably needed to have like some type of like something, some kind of structure under there to make it stay poofed out, so it would have mm-hmm. matched the top. That's just my personal opinion, and I feel like they should have been a different color skirt. Like, I feel like it should have been that material. I don't feel like matches what's going on on top. That's just mm-hmm. my personal opinion. I feel like if it was just the top. I'm like, yes, girl. But that bottom really turned me off from the whole outfit. But still, right. besides the person who should not be named, I still felt it was the best down the runway. Yeah. Besides right. the person that shall not be named. All right. All right. Let me go back to this. I see your point as the bottom. It's very Nigerian seamstress of like, you better give me my skirt like last minute. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or she was doing that should be for like a hundred people. She was just like bang, bang, bang. That that's exactly what it is. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, I agree. Right. And so for people who don't know what Ashavi is, it's kind of like you see how African people wear all that matching everything. We kind of give each other the same cloth so that we can make our own dresses out of it. So just yeah. education. Yeah. All right, education. The more All you right, know. what about Jada Essence Hall? I love her. Donk is so cute. Oh my god! It's just like she, every time I look at her, it's like I want to be you. You are so perfect. It's just perfect. It's so perfect. cute. I, I don't oh. want to be her, but she she no, does look good. Give, no, no, I need that body. 
I just need that body, period. <laughs> Maybe I'm just that age to say it. When she was walking down the runway and her foot get caught, was caught in a skirt, I kept thinking she came from the bathroom and a long roll of tissue was stuck to her <laughs> back. That's all I saw. And it kept getting stuck and she was trying to kick it off. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that was good. No, I think the it's very, you know, remember the time Michael Jackson just like yes. feminized that little drop. But yeah, I liked it. And I really liked I her bum. I'll say it again. She's a very nice derriere or she just stuffed it very well. And I would like to know how do you stuff it so I can stuff it myself. But <laughs> I don't I need to do those things. Because her body, her body okay, right. She fudge you. I know. Yeah, Mom yeah. always talks about your butts. So we yeah, know yeah. you're the queen of butts in this. Okay. You have the ass. She has the donk. It's her. Just, it's, yeah, it's, she's got the booty. I'm not blessed in other areas. That's all I could take. It's, it's, <laughs> Dr. has the booty, yes. All right, yes, moving speak. on to Jan. Just Jan. Just Jan. Just Jan. Just Jan. I, can I be really honest? Are you a little over of the latex bullshit? Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I don't just, be sorry about that. Because I just, I, it's like, don't get me wrong. I see what she was going for, the dripping icicles that she was blown, frozen and that lot. But I was just like, ew. It looked more runny than it looked like icicles to me. I agree. I did not. I, I mean, like, yeah, I'm not a fan. I, I don't know what it is that I'm not a fan of, but I'm just not a fan of it, you know? It's, 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 it wasn't, it she said do it for she's me. given white white walker realness, but it wasn't. That's not a white walker. Walk. So with Jan, um, I, I didn't see it for her. I'm just like, yeah. I'm so sorry. It's not what no. I would want to see, but whatever. It was so safe. So we can move on. It was, just, it was safe, but all of the other weeks, Jan should have been in the top. This yes. week, I agree with her being safe. I agree. Yes. But last I agree. week, mm-mm. And the week no. before, mm-mm. Jan got robbed. Jazz should be in the top and she received a critique. But this week, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah she was safe, period. She was safe. All right, who's next? All right, next person is Widow. Y'all go first. Uh, no. That That's was it. a what Boot. the hell. Boot. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why hell? people are checking for Widow. I have not been impressed with anything that she's put down the runway. But people okay. are checking for Widow. And I'm not being harsh. You're being no. harsh. You being oh no, I actually was checking for her last week with the watermelon. I loved it. I oh, loved yes. it with the titties. That. that made me happy. I was like, yes. titties, thank you. No. But then and then when she pulled out the titties, yes, I like that. That was cute. <laughs> and then let me go, let me go look at week, that look again. But yeah, I don't first think week, so. first week I liked <clears throat> I liked okay, her. first week, first week. I give you that. First week, I liked her. After that? But it's just this week, I was like, one, you just, you put only icicles on your face. This is supposed to be a Titanic survivor. And I think so she borrowed just, that. She definitely borrowed those icicles. I really yeah. do think so. I think she got uh, those with Jan, without a shadow of a doubt. She got those with Jan, like, but, without a shadow of a doubt. But... Um, <laughs> It should have been icicles from head to toe, okay? You were freezing, and you're supposed to be wet. Where's the wetness? They should Not have wet. to be like, this is my first time walking down the runway in this period piece. I was like, you should have kept that, girl. No, ma'am. That was no, no ma'am. Okay, there was but, nothing frozen but about hold on, it. Hold on. Go ahead, Uche. There was nothing frozen about it. You got a freaking lifesaver. And then you've got some random Wicked Witch Mother of the West outfit on. And that's it. I don't see anything except for what she put the thing on the side of her face as part of Frozen. Exactly. That's terrible. She should have got clocked for this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, and then, like, it's just... Uh, did that, that type of even thing exist back then? At least yes. try and put some... It did in that color? No, uh, no you're right. Not in that color, though. Exactly. It I feel like she went to production, be like, "Ooh, I really need one," and they went to Target and got her one. But as in, like, she still needed to do something for it to be like a little bit of a period type of piece for me. And then I just don't recall Rose looking like that. No, no. I don't. I Either don't. Way. I don't recall. 
Okay, well, then we just are going to have to move on from that situation. But um, if it was my, if I had my way. Just like Rose did you, what's it called? We just have to move on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next person is, is she, the woman that should not be named. But we did want to talk about her outfit only because homegirl. She totally it. used African lace in Thank you. her outfit. Not just African Thank lace. You. Swiss lace that you bought from the streets of Dubai. Swiss yes. lace that mama lace that you you and I cannot wear because we have not earned our stripes. That is the lace she brought down to the runway. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we just like it was a good material too. Oh my. Oh. Actually, actually, I'll be back. I think I have it. What? <laughs> What? You know, he, he's like turning into mom. Like mom has that mile long closet. <laughs> like, I was like, because when I, I feel that she had like lace all the way from I think maybe the seventies, eighties, and it's yes. Wow, it's scary. It's somewhat scary at times. I think it's quite impressive. It's impressive. It's impressive. No, I because it makes no. like I have like a whole big old suitcase. And I have like a lace. What that I the made hell? Yet. You do. You do. Oh, she has it. Day. She does. Uh-huh. And guess oh, where I got this bro. from? That's like very expensive lace. When are you going to cut that? That's a good one. That's, That's a good one, dude. That's a good where one. Where did you That's get that? Problem. Where did you get that? Is Where's that one like the Dubai one? one? Dubai. Oh, I used Puppy to buy it. Ah, yeah, okay. Puppy okay. got it. Okay. But either way, that's another place to get lace. Anyway, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that was some good lace. Uh, we 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 appreciated that. We don't appreciate the queen, but we do appreciate yeah. her outfit. But see, they, no, but that's getting back to what we were saying before, how the wow had to cut her out, but they needed to show the designers who were behind her outfits. Yeah. They need to have that exposure. Yes, it was on the wrong queen, but the work, yeah. you cannot deny the work that they yeah. did, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I was every, I was... <laughs> Send her the bill. Send her the bill. That's all they gotta do. Send her the bill. Instead of doing like, <laughs> send her the bill. I mean, it's under the bill. So then let's talk about the tops and the bottoms for the week. So the top three queens for the week were Jackie Cox, Mm -hmm. um, Gigi Good, and then the girl that should not be named. Yeah. And then in the bottom, we had, I forgot the bottom already. Oh, Britta Filter. And we had uh, Elja Barge. And and, and, um, Stop it! (laughs) <laughs> I, so, you guys can get tired of it, but I won't. But go ahead. Oh, I'm I'm not, like, I'm not debauch, it's not gonna happen. Stop it. It is. Right. It's happening. Anyway, and it's it happening every episode. God damn it. So like do you, do you guys agree with the tops and the bottoms? I yeah. ag- no, I agree with the tops and the bottoms. I, well okay. No. This yeah. week I agree across the board. Okay. Okay, I may have switched out Crystal wait, wait, wait. Who, who, with who, Widow. Who, 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 wait, no, Widow. Widow lying. should have been I'm on lying. the bottom. No, yeah. th- no, I agree with the bottom. I'm, I'm lying. I agree with the bottom. No, but Crystal was really bad. She was yeah, really that, was, bad. that was a really bad snatch game, and then that pajama outfit was bad. Pajamas? Mm-mm. Yeah, you're right. Okay, oh. I agree with them. So the, bo- so the person that ended up winning the challenge was Gigi Good. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I was happy with that one because I felt like her snatch game, the reason why I felt like she edged over the queen that should not be named is because it was unexpected. Like that snatch yeah. game was an unexpected, like hit out the park, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, when it came to um, Catherine Hepburn, like I felt like that was something that to me personally, I felt like that was a predictable Sherry, I mean, she shall not She's be like a campy no. type of queen, whatever, whatever. Like, yeah, like, queen, I don't want to name her, but, you know, but, like, yeah. but most campy queens cannot bring looks. And that's why it's unfortunate, because she's a campy queen, and she has been bringing some looks. You're right. Yeah, some looks. But, nevertheless. but the bottom two queens were Britta, Britta and, and Aiden. Aiden, Aiden and hello, should have been there weeks ago, but okay. 
Glad you're no, here. Glad. No, but when, hold on, when Michelle gave that, like, that commentary of, like, I like her, I was like, that's a bitch who's been keeping her there. That, that is the, <laughs> that is the bitch. Like, I knew it. When I was like, you, it's you. It's your fault. <laughs> but I think they also wanted to keep her there. I think they wanted the Aiden Britta thing to, to keep being. Obviously. In in yeah. Actually, I do feel, I do feel that Chris and Method should have been there instead of Britta to sing, to, to um, lip sync for lip sync. I really do. I agree with yeah. that too. I do. I agree yeah, with that. Fair it's because it's the whole Britta Aiden storyline. That's always why Aiden's been here for so long. It's because of that conflict. Um, that's, sure. that's one thing about reality shows. If you bring in the drama that they want to see, you're going to stay a little bit longer. You're not going to win, but you're probably going to stay a little bit longer. And so they got to sing the Broadway version of Let It Go. What did you guys think about that lip sync? Eh, I was like, Britta did her thing. She, and Aiden, I was like, are you there? Oh, you're not. Oh, okay, got it. All right, Britta, do you think? That's it. That's what it was to me. <laughs> Britta gave us a little... <laughs> okay, what, what was that? What was that? Okay, that little... That little... It was supposed to... I don't know what that was. What was that? It was nothing. I don't, I don't know what that it was. was. It was just wasn't, but Aiden wasn't okay, there. Okay, you know what so, that looks like? Have you guys, have you guys, hold on. Have you guys seen those Nollywood, uh, obviously, Nollywood uh, films when they do really terrible effects? That's what it was. Like, he really does. I put some YouTube on YouTube. It's a little, oh, that's what it is. We wrote that. Nollywood. Ah, I will be terrible. You. Like, <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh. 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 That's what it was. I'm uh-uh. I'm always a fan of a good old clean stunt. Like, I, I want to see a stunt on the runway. But mm-hmm. here's the thing. Like, if you're going to do, like, it didn't make sense. Like, it was just like, oh, well, <laughs> there it was. You and like it. You like a stunt, but that was a stunt. Huh? That was a stunt. You like a stunt? That was a stunt. It was, <laughs> it was like, yeah. It wasn't right. a stunt. It was a, uh, uh. That was what that was. Uh. <laughs> It was not good. It wasn't, to me, I was not satisfied. The only thing is, like, Aiden, I mean, she didn't have her mouth open that wide. It's just like. Again, was she there? Did no. she even know the words? She did not prepare. Like, yes, she had done the whole time. She just showed her ass up. So, like, a British just won alone just because she opened her mouth bigger. Just from that. <laughs> And uh, so she got. She's one of those friends. queens that just gives up when you have like a really big personality of a queen, and it's yeah. kind of like a small. They just automatically give up. That was the type of situation. She but, didn't give up. She never tried to begin with. So the one that gave up. No, but they just give up. That's give again. It, again, what I said was she there? No, she wasn't. This so she got little- Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, this is a lip sync for your life. Okay. The reason why we all love dra- drag queens is that we enjoy a performance. And you are told you're going to lip sync for your life, regardless of the flipping situation. You're gonna put. You need to put on a show. Even if you know, you know you're gonna lose. Even if you know I, you're gonna lose, you put on a bloody show. But she, she did. did. She went, she did. Her, her exit was kind of cute. I have to give her some credit. But I'm just saying, if you're just trying to look at it from her perspective, you're doing that situation at every queen. <laughs> My bad. I mean, her exit. If every queen is coming for you. It, I just felt like that was a tough situation. And then I, I don't like it. I didn't like it. So they probably broke the girl's spirit. Like, how are yeah. you going to encourage her by bullying her all the time? How? Yeah. I agree, yeah, but I don't think she would have given us any more like anyway. That. Even if she wasn't bullied, she had nothing to give. I'm sorry. Thank you. Even if she wasn't bullied, I still think we would have got the same luck, luster. Luck um, performance. Leave when she was supposed to leave. Why are you being? Yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah. No, no, no. This is the thing. This is the thing. Regardless of what's going on in the back, first and foremost, all these people are performers. And when you get onto the stage, you're supposed to perform. She didn't do it at all, regardless of how shitty your life is, regardless about this person's talking shit about you, regardless, it's just, you just do it. It's automatic. But there was nothing. Okay, wait, I do want to say this one thing and 
got to move on because like we kind of spent a lot of time on this. But like the one thing I would give is just like like some people don't get it for a while. Like you, like when you get that performance factor, like people can beat it into you until you're blue in the face. But if you don't understand it, don't understand it. And then it's like she's still a young queen, and so she's got time to figure out what performing is to her. She hasn't figured mm -hmm. it out. I like said when it comes to all of the situations of being beaten down by the other queens that wasn't gonna help her at all and so okay. um, it is what it is like what happened happened she can't change it now the only thing she can change is what she does after drag race you know that's so, true mm -hmm. regardless she got eliminated and uh she's gone and so we're gonna yeah. have to find out what happens next week so gone. can I'm we sorry. talk about that exit though Oh. I was like, hey, let me, no, no, I can't fix my hair, but I need to talk about this. Had she exited and said, I have, okay, I have something to say, and she actually read Britta to feel, she would have yeah. bounced back from me. She would have bounced back. I mean, if she had just read Britta, she paused and read Britta for feel, girl, she would have made up for everything else for me. Bam. <laughs> but you know, she's not going to. That's not her personality. Sorry. <laughs> she could not do it. She did not have okay. that fire. It was a candle. This really, <laughs> yeah. This thing is really long. But real quick, I do want to touch something on Untucked. Was there any... Was, how about each of us real quick go over, like, one thing memorable and Untucked? Go ahead. Jackie? Jackie, shut up. <laughs> Don't say a bloody word when they're having a fight and the guest judges come in to greet you lot, Okay. Because the minute you said, oh, we just had a fight. Okay. They just had a fight. Producers, get at it. We're out. That was it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you just ruined it for the everybody. You shouldn't have yeah. said anything. You let it come out organically. Let them have their thing at the side and then be done with it. So, yeah, fair. Um, any, what, what do you have, um, uh, Ella? Any, any memorable moments been tucked? It's unmemorable, but it just always gets on my, my nerves. Jan with like the, the, <laughs> the, the, the what's it called button. Like, I'm just like, you didn't do it right. I always think of different ways you could do it that was exciting. But it's just like, what the is shape. it doing there? What is this? Why is Jan doing it? Why is it her thing? It just doesn't do anything for me. And I don't want to see it again. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree. Like the first time she did the shade button on the last episode, that was pretty funny. But when she touched it this time, I was like, girl, no one, no one cares. No, Stop. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> thin. Dr. Uch? Honestly, I'm not an Untucked fan. I okay. mean, just the beginning of their fight. All right, cool. I still don't feel that every judge should go back there. It's only rare that I find that the judges really add anything to that. I like yeah. it when Leslie went back there. But besides that, I've not really enjoyed the judges being back there during Untucked. Nicki Minaj was everything backstage. She was everything. Okay, yeah. fine. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. I don't like Nicki Minaj. But I she was great. She, I loved it. I was like, yeah. I, I liked, I, I thought that Leslie Jones, by far, has been the best judge backstage ever in uh, Nicki okay. Minaj was good, too. I liked her, but Leslie Jones just... She, the way that she talked to all the queens and how she was real and she called out some queens. Oh, it was so good. She added to the show, but it wasn't like horrible drama, mm -hmm. but she still made it interesting and it wasn't corny. It was, she was great. But um, yeah. the one thing that I remember about this Untouched, that, I, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. First off, when Jackie, when they were all talking about this, that they were talking about, oh, Everyone has so much time to prepare for the Snatch Game. There's no excuse to do bad on the Snatch Game. I was like, first of all, it's improv. And everybody knows some days you have you. amazing improv sets. And other days, you just bomb. And it's just it. And to be all like, well, you should have been prepared. Like, no, 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 no. Debbie. But she has a point. I get that. If there was a difference that you just bomb. Like, there's a difference between Crystal Method and um, what's her face? Um, John. Oh, Jackie. Yeah. No, Jackie. that was terrible. Aiden. Okay, Aiden. Crystal Method, I think, just bombed. I right. think she did her research. She just bombed. Aiden didn't do her research, and that's what she was speaking to. It was the fact that you did not come prepared. Yes, I, that's, that's what I think she was speaking to. Not the fact that you were not, like, uh, being able to volley. Talking. 
but she wasn't talking to Aiden at that point. She was talking to Widow and she was talking to um, uh, Kylie at that point. Mm -hmm. And so the, I, I felt like she was being preachy and it, she, like, I, li I would like to like Jackie Cox, but sometimes she annoys me in those kind of aspects when she's just all like, she gets all hoity-toity when she does well and she expects mm -hmm. everyone to do the same that she did. And it's like, girl, everybody has a bad day and just like, like let it go. But the other thing that I do want to talk day. about, but one thing I do want to talk about that I was like kind of shocked that happened was Gigi good coming for Heidi? Yeah. I did not like that at all. Like, I've loved Gigi all to this point, but when she came for Heidi's makeup, that was unnecessary. Like, I felt yeah. like that was not okay. And then... It was improving. It was obvious. But that's just another experience. instance of they're like, well, Aiden's about to go. Heidi's going to be our next punching bag. And I just don't think so. It's right. And then having these girls learn from like Relasta talks or whatever, when they were just beating down on another. Is that, is that right? When yeah, they were beating Relaxa down on that. Talk, yeah, yeah, yeah they beating down on Jinx. Yeah. Yeah. And then bam, guess who won? Like, I'm just saying, have they not learned their lesson from that? You're not supposed to be bullying. I'm just saying. Yeah, but that was that was a bully moment, and I, I just felt disappointed that she did that, even though she is a young queen, so, I mean, she's got things to learn, but, like, I was like, what? there was no necessary reason for her to come for Heidi like that. Yeah. Like, it was not why? Heidi is Heidi. I think they're jealous. Huh? They're jealous of Heidi. Yeah, yeah because she has Heidi has all the personality, and people oh like Heidi. Yes, because yeah. it's like, she just, she makes everybody smile. And she does, she does it so effortlessly. It's just effortlessly. I can't even talk. But she's just, it's like, ah, it's Heidi. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's, I don't, that's I, how she I don't is. Think that, I don't think she's jealous of Heidi. I don't even think she's, um, I don't even think she considers Heidi competition. Um, I, I agree. I don't think she, but, I, but at the same time, I'm just, I was really disappointed when she did that. I was like, why? Because, like, you could tell that Heidi has acknowledged that she needs to work on her makeup skills and she's working on it. So, yeah, to so be all, like, to do that, I was really disappointed. Like, I just yeah. really want to stress that. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I, that's it. We're done. We yeah. are done. <gasps> how about, do we want, how are we going to end this? What are we going to do? Hey. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can end it how that ends a phone call. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, no, hold no. on. The first uh, uh, a recap of RuPaul's Drag Race. I hope you enjoyed this whole two hours this has been. Um, it's been two hours? It's been two hours? It's been a long time. We've been on this way too long. Um, but nevertheless, this was fun. And we will join you next week for next week's episode. Um, Madonna! Madonna musical. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get, let's get, let's get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. You better see some classic Bogan. I oh, better see some. Oh, my God, the lip sync, the lip sync. Yeah. I better be a Madonna I song. I cannot my wait God. for that lip sync. I feel like it needs to be a double lip sync. I'm like, so right. A winner's and a loser's lip sync. Oh, that's a good idea. That yeah, is a good idea. That's yeah. too much content, just like our two hour podcast. Okay. <laughs> That's but fair anyway. enough. All right. Bye, guys. Well, you guys. Bye. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love Bye. Bye. <laughs>